See, the way you start something has a lot to do with the way you're going to do it. And if you start practice with enthusiasm, where they're going to hustle up here, and they're ready to roll, they know what it's all about. So all the stretching is done on their own. It's all done on their own, each in their own way. They know how they have to, the other guy's got to work on the back, maybe. They stretch on their own. So when I blow the whistle to start practice, they're loose, they are well stretched out, and they're ready to go. Okay, and then I blow the whistle to start practice because it's important that we do it in the right way. Now, this is the wrong way, right? But I see a lot of practices start this way, but this is the wrong way. All right, let's go, gang. Got a big game tomorrow. Got to get after it. Right? This is quicker than some I've seen. Right? right? Okay, and they finally get here. I've seen guys that are busy shooting. Just a minute, coach. Three more hook shots, a couple more half court shots. You've seen it, right? How can you start practice under those conditions? Okay, going back, going back, okay. Let's see who the slowest guy is in a minute. Now, see, they might be shooting around, and they're generally shooting around. See, they're not sitting waiting for them. They're shooting around, but I don't have them shooting right now. Okay, all right. Let's go, gang. And that's the way my guys come to me. And if any guy was a little late getting there, you know, I'd, he was the last guy, this guy back here, and I'll say, Jimmy, you hurt? You're injured. Trainer, can we, you, want, you need to see the trainer? No, no, I'm fine. I said, you look like you're limping. You're not that slow, are you? You only have to do that one time. And they'll all get here. See, the way you start something has a lot to do with the way you're going to do it. And if you start practice with enthusiasm, where they're going to hustle up here, and they're ready to roll, they know what it's all about. <laughs>